Thank you for joining McCormick in video number three, Takeoff. In looking at the takeoff configuration, you will notice three windows. These are the windows that you'll be utilizing most to do your takeoff. The first window you will see on the left is your database window. The database window holds all of your items and assemblies. This is where you're going to be doing most of your work from. On the right you will notice your menu. This is where you will locate all of your database items. And finally on the bottom is your audit trail. This is where we record all of our takeoff. Okay, before we begin takeoff, we want to pick the proper label that we'll be working in. So today, for this section, I'm going to work on Floor 1 Power. Okay, let's talk about the database. The first thing we're going to look at is items. Go ahead and click on the bottom left tab of the database marked item. This shows you the thousands of items that McCormick Systems has already set for you. To view your assembly list, simply click on the Assemblies tab on the bottom of the window. This will now show you the thousands of assemblies that McCormick has already pre-built. So it's very easy to navigate between the databases in McCormick. Let's go ahead and start with Items. Click on the Items tab on the bottom left hand side of the window. To find any item, let's go ahead and utilize the menu. Today we're going to look for devices. Let's click on Standard and Receptacle Standard. As soon as you click on that last menu header, it will bring you to that part in the database. You will start off on the header, and I'm going to choose Duplex 20 Amp Receptacle. That'll be the first thing we take off today. To take off this item, simply click up into the count box type in how many you want, we're going to go ahead and type in 15, hit enter, that will drop it into your audit trail and your takeoff has officially been recorded. The audit trail now shows that you've taken off 15 of the item duplex. So this shows also that the user admin took it off at a certain date and time. Alright, let's do a little bit more takeoff. I'm going to take off another item. Simply utilize your menu to find it. Let's grab a stainless steel plate here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take off this uh, duplex receptacle plate. And we're going to go ahead and count, uh, let's say, 15 of those also. So again, type in 15, hit enter, and it drops it down into the audit drill. Another thing to speed up takeoff is you actually do not have to click up into the count box every single time. McCormick recognizes when you're on an item or an assembly. So as soon as you click on that item or assembly, you can actually start typing and McCormick will automatically put that number up into the count box for you. So I'll simply type the number that you want, hit enter, and it will drop it into your audit trail. I'm going to go ahead and pick this Leviton. Uh, occupancy sensor, I want 25 of them. I type in 25, hit enter. Takeoff is super fast and easy. Now that we've completed some item takeoff, let's go ahead and review an item and see the specifications about the item. This will show you what is the item all about. So if we hit the review button, this will open up a side window and show you everything about the item. You can see the item name, the manufacturer catalog number, uh, McCormick will uh, start you off with four pricing levels and six different labor levels. Now we don't, we're not concerned with those pricing and labor levels now. We will however choose a price and a labor level when we get to step four, extend. If you want to change an item permanently, change it here. If you want to change it just for the job, we'll do that in step number four, extend. Now let's work on some assemblies. Same as items, go ahead and click on the assembly tab, look for the assembly that you want, and take it off. I'm going to go ahead and find that same duplex we were working on earlier, except now this is going to be the assembly. Takeoff is exactly the same. I click on that duplex 20 amp, type in 50, hit enter, and our assembly has been recorded. You can tell down in the audit trail that it is an assembly by VA. If you want to view the contents of that assembly, simply hit the review button. It will show you every item 
contained within that assembly. To get out of review mode, simply hit the assembly tab again and that window will close. Hitting this down arrow in the audit trail will also view the contents of an assembly. All right, let's do some takeoff for floor two. Notice your audit trail follows the label that you're in. We have done no takeoff for floor two, so there'll be no takeoff in the audit trail. Let's go ahead and add 25 more receptacles to this floor. Flipping back to floor one, you'll notice all of our takeoff is still there. Let's go ahead and work on floor one lighting this time. Notice again that audit trail following you. McCormick makes it easy to keep you organized. Let's go ahead and take off some more switches. We'll take off some of these single poles. Here's uh, some three ways, and then we'll get a couple combination switches added to our audit trail. Taking off lineal is the same way. We just pick what we want to take off. Let's go for some branch EMT steel set screw, and we'll throw some number 12 wires in there. You'll notice in the database, we can pick two number 12s, three number 12s, four number 12s. I'm going to go ahead and put in 5,000 feet of four number 12s in half inch EMT. Drop it into the audit trail and we are done. That is it for takeoff. All of our work has been auto saved. Let's go to step number four where we can get our full material list and labor report. 